When I start working on a word problem, the first thing that I do is read the problem and uh, make sense of some of the terms that are in it. So it's telling me here that I'm beginning with 40 grams of this compound, and it reacts with 35 grams of another compound. So the first thing I'm going to say is, since I'm beginning with something, that means it's a reactant. So I'm going to say 40 grams um, of Na2SO4. It reacts with, and that's the same as the plus sign, um, 35 grams of this other compound. And it produces, so that's the same as an equal sign, 20 grams of CaSO4. How many, that's my unknown, grams of NaCl are formed? Are formed implies product. Okay, so what was, what was made? I can also use this equation right above as my guide. So even if I don't know how to interpret the words, I could see this compound and I can say I've got 40 grams of that. I've got 35 grams of CaCl2. This is the same as an equal sign. And again, I look for the compounds that I have up in the equation above. Once I have this equation written out, then it's simple algebra. I can take these two numbers and add them together, so I can come up with 75 grams is equal to 20 grams plus x. To solve for x, I want to get that all by itself, so I'm going to subtract 20 from each side. And this cancels out, and it basically gives me x is equal to and, uh, 55, 55 grams. So my answer is 55 grams of NaCl are formed. On this problem, uh, again, I start by just looking at the words that I've got. So it's telling me that I've got 250 grams of this, and it decomposes and produces, okay, 239.5 grams of Al or aluminum. Um, when something decomposes, that means I'm starting with something big and it's breaking down. So here I know that I've got 250 grams as my reactants, and I can also look right up here and see that as well. So I can just kind of substitute 250 grams, got my produces, so that I know it's going to be followed by an equal sign, and it produces 239.5 grams of aluminum, so 239.5 grams of aluminum. How much O2 are also produced? Again, that word produced implies that it is a product, and the amount that it's producing is unknown to me. So again, the way I've got this equation set up is I would basically have to isolate my variable, and I do that by subtracting 239.5 from each side. So 239.5 minus and 239.5 minus. This side cancels out. X is equal to 1, oh, excuse me, 10.5 grams. So um, my answer is that I would be forming 10.5 grams of oxygen, and I would want to circle that.